Hey, book lovers, especially fantasy readers. Are you ready to take on the epic world of Sarah J. Mass's Throne of Glass series, but you might be overwhelmed or unsure where to start? Whether you're a first-time reader or you're looking to revisit Aurelia, the ultimate guide has got you covered. I loved it so much. Clearly, I got the collector's edition. So join me as I break down the best reading order, sharing tips of navigating this series, and we can discuss how it meshes into the larger SJM universe. Don't miss out on making your journey through Throne of Glass epic. There are eight books in the series. The first, Assassin's Blade, Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, Heir of Fire, Queen of Shadows, Empire of Storms, Tower of Dawn, and Kingdom of Ash. There are several points of contention, so let's go through those one at a time. First is Assassin's Blade. This is the collection of prequel novellas for the Throne of Glass series. Four different ways you can read it. First, you can read it in chronological order, which is the Assassin's Blade, because like I said, it's the prequel. So you read that first, then you go through the rest. That's not how I read it. If you want to read it the way SJM, the queen herself, recommends on her website, which is Assassin's Blade Third. That's still not how I read it. You can read it anywhere between first and fourth, but definitely read it before Queen of Shadows. I'm not going to say it anymore there. You're just going to want to trust me and read it before you get to Queen of Shadows. How I personally read it was I read it fourth. I was debating whether to read it third or fourth, but honestly, I just lost track of where I was because I just wanted to keep going in the storyline and I didn't want to go back in time. And so I just read through Air of Fire and then I said, oh, whoa, whoa, I got to read it fourth um, and then go into Queen of Shadows. And so that's why I read it fourth. I absolutely loved it there because I actually thought Assassin's Blade was pretty slow. And I think if I had read it first, I would have stopped. I would have said, what are people telling me? Why are they telling me this series is amazing? Because it is so slow. However, halfway through, I was sucked in. I was in. It was emotional. Great in a sobbing kind of way because I am a crier in books and movies in whatever. And so, yes, it gripped me. It got me. It got you the backstory of the three books that I had read already. And so it was fantastic there. I absolutely loved it. But again, you can read it first through fourth. I personally would highly, highly recommend reading it fourth. But you do you. I've told you the four different ways you can read it. Now, the second point of contention that comes in is how to read the books Empire of Storms and Tower of Dawn. These take place at the same point in time, however, in different parts of the Throne of Glass universe. And so you could read it in the order of publication, again, the way that Sarah J. Mass herself recommends, which is Empire of Storms first, then Tower of Dawn. You could flip it and you would still be fine. However, I personally absolutely loved the tandem read. If you haven't heard of this, there are guides out there and I have posted it here because Tower of Dawn tends to be a little slow as well. And so I liked this back and forth of going between one set of characters and one set of places and then jumping to the other one, which is a lot faster paced. And you see what's happening to this set of characters in tandem with the other. And while it is a little bit hard to remember where you're supposed to jump back and forth, Sometimes I got lost and went forward a little too much, but that's okay. You just catch up in the other as soon as you're done with that chapter and you'll be fine. You'll be fine. I got lost. Absolutely. I got gripped. I just wanted to keep going. And then I went, oh shoot, I have to switch back to the other one. No harm, no foul. Totally fine. I am yet to meet anyone that said they regretted reading it that way. I have only heard amazing things. Yes, you can go in order, you can do whatever you want, but I highly recommend Tandem Read for sure. So I'm only covering how to read the Throne of Glass series here, but I highly recommend again to read the whole Sarah J. Mass universe because her books are amazing. I 
got into fiction and fantasy and all of that because of her Akatar series, the Court of Thorns and Roses series. I actually read that series first and then read Throne of Glass because people said it was amazing and she hooked me and I wanted to read everything that she had to write. And I have read everything she has written, but it doesn't matter which one you read first, whether you read Throne of Glass or A Court of Thorns and Roses, they don't really connect too much. Um, but if you're going to read the Crescent City series as well, which is her third series, read that last because that does have some tie into the other ones, not to spoil anything for you. I'm not going to say how they tie in or anything, but it does have some tie-ins, alludes to, to characters in other places, um, realms and things like that. And so you want to read that third. Otherwise, Throne of Glass, Court of Thorns and Roses, it's really up to you whether you want it spicier because a Court of Thorns and Roses series gets a lot, lot spicier. Throne of Glass is, she wrote this when she was a teenager, this which is amazing. And then the rest of it, she wrote more and more and more, but that's just mind boggling to me. But because of that, probably also, it's, it's not as spicy at all. Um, and it's just fantastic. I absolutely adore it. I would call it my Roman Empire, Throne of Glass. I would love to hear how you read it. If you have questions, drop them in the comments. Love to hear all the ways in which you enjoyed this and how many times you've read it because I'm going to have to go read it because I opened up my collector's edition here and of course I had to reread it again. I just started to open the pages and once I started reading, I just had, had to do it again. <laughs> to do it again. It is... I love it. I love it. If I had to rate the series that Sarah J. Mass has written, this is my top. Throne of Glass is my top. Akatar is a close second. And then Crescent City is definitely my third. There's more to come though. And so absolutely, I'm going to be rereading. I'm going to be theorizing on how these worlds are going to connect even more because she has said they will. And in Crescent City, you see that tie starting to come alive. So that I'm really excited about and want to do some more theorizing. So read along with me. If you are in for theorizing too, let me know. As you can see, absolutely adore this series and can't wait for you to start or restart on this series. And I hope that this guide has helped you navigate it in any sort of way through Aurelia and the beauty that it is. I've given you my suggestions. Would love to hear what you did or what you plan to do. As always, if you have any questions, drop them below. And remember to like, comment, subscribe so that you can get more of the bookish content and suggestions. Happy reading, friends, and may your adventure of the Throne of Glass series be absolutely legendary.